Hi, my name is Aminita Coates. Thank you so much for joining me for this week's devotional exercise. Today's devotion focuses on Leviticus chapter 26. Now, if you've been following along for a while, you'll realize that we've actually been walking with the children of Israel through the book of Leviticus. And today we are looking at the final stages of their time at Mount Sinai. Now, previously, they'd actually spent maybe about 10 months learning how to worship God. So God had told them what he expected, you know, um, how they should act, how they should treat each other. And then there were also expectations as to what they needed to do in the event or rather when they sinned. God gave them the expectations as to what they should do for their sacrifice and, you know, how the offering should be treated and all that good stuff. Now, they were at the point where God was basically summing up the message through his servant Moses. And he was telling them that, okay, this is what's going to happen if you are obedient. You will get these blessings, you know, things like I will send you the rain in its season. You know, you'll get the early rain and the latter rain. I will make your land fruitful. I will give you good health. I will... I will cause your enemies to run from before you, you know, and he gave them all those kinds of benefits of worshiping and serving him. But then he also continued and he said, okay, if you disobey me, this is what's going to happen to you. And he gave a whole list of curses. He, he told them, you know, if you disobey me, then I am going to dry up the rain. You are not going to have enough food to eat. You're actually going to get to the point where you're going to become cannibalistic towards your own children. And God went through and he detailed every single thing that would happen. Now, we actually have the Bible and we can see that all of these blessings that God had actually told the children of Israel that they actually came through as long as they worshipped him in spirit and in truth. They, As long as they were faithful to God, these blessings were upon their land. But then we also know that there was a point when the children of Israel became very disobedient. They continued to disobey God and God had sent his prophets time and time and again to warn them and to encourage them to repent and to turn back to him, but they didn't. And we know that these curses also came true so as we go through you know the old testament we actually see where these things that god told them would happen because of their disobedience actually happened now this stands as a testament to us because we also have expectations god also tells us what we need to do because we have not only do we have the old testament but we also have the new testament we have the life of jesus we have the life of jesus's disciples we have the writings of his disciples we have the writings of those members of the early church we know what god expects us to do and we can rest assured that there are also going to be benefits if we obey and also there are going to be penalties or punishment for disobedience the question is what's going to be your choice because each of us have to make that decision on our own each of us has to choose we have to decide okay am i going to serve god am i going to follow him am i going to obey him or am i going to choose to do my own will but whatever you do consequences always follow our decisions that's not really my talk. I heard it from Pastor Stanley because it's really true. Consequences always follow the um, decision. So whatever choice you make, there are going to be consequences. So, my friend, I hope that as you go through this week that you'll think about the consequences of your actions. Think about the fact that in every situation you have a choice. It may not be a choice you like, but it is a choice that you have to make nonetheless. And also think about the fact that in all of your choices, you are choosing to represent Christ or you're not. So make good choices this week, okay? Let us pray. Father Lord, we thank you so much for the opportunity to exercise our free will. We are grateful that you have given us a blueprint of what you expect of us. We have the example of Christ. We have the, the Bible. We have the entire Old and New Testaments that lay out your precepts before us. Lord, help us to make right choices. Help us to turn to you when we're looking to define what truth is because you're the only person who can give us that standard as to what's the right thing to do. Lord, I ask that you will just help us to make these good choices. And if we've actually already made a poor choice, we ask you that you'll give us the courage to turn away from that choice and to turn towards you, O Lord. Help us throughout this week. In your name I pray. Amen. 
So this week's devotional is actually available on my website, hebrews12endurance.com. You will also find other devotionals um, there as well as other material that can help you on your spiritual journey. So you'll find tips on how to study the Bible. You'll also find some Bible studies and also posts on how to live a Christian life. Thank you for joining me today. This is Ami, and until next time, I'm encouraging you to know God, know yourself, run your race. Bye! Bye.